Hi Pimps and Sims, it's me, LT, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I really like doing my hair, but I also like talking to you guys, but I feel like just sitting down making these like overly simple like talking videos is just kind of, it's not me. I'm going to just talk while I do my hair and I feel like that's more interesting and you guys also get to learn like just different ways that I do my hair. I'm going to basically be putting my hair a protective style, but I'm doing like a protein repair mask on my hair. I do this once a month. While I do that, I am gonna be talking to you guys about life after graduation. We're gonna address the struggles, ways to get out of it, recommendations that I would have for you guys. If you are feeling kind of like down, you just don't know what to freaking do because college is about to be done and I'm here to just, you know, share my experience with you guys and kind of get some of that weight lifted off your shoulders. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I am not a LinkedIn or no indeed counselor or anything like that. And we know that. So do not be <laughs> with me in these comments because this is just my personal experience. I just want to share y'all please be sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you do get notified when i'm posting with all that being said let's jump right into this video my two tools that i'm using are going to be my denman brush and my comb my water bottle or my hair mask that i'm using it's going to be the mega thick intense repair rebuilding thickening treatment um it is by dugro i like i swear by this stuff i literally swear by this this is my favorite product that I think I've ever had. So starting off in this video, I actually graduated college last, last May. So I graduated in 2021. I did go to school for a full four year term. During my senior year, personally, I was feeling very lost. And around this time, I was kind of sitting there like overly thinking about job interviews and things like that because I didn't, I didn't know if that makes sense. I didn't know like what to expect going into the workforce. I feel like there are people and they can sit there and like tell you and tell you and tell you. And my professors are amazing people and they were a great support system to have making my transition out of college. They wrote me recommendation letters and all kinds of things like that. I love that I had that encouragement system but let's be honest no matter how much like how big of an encouragement system that you have leaving college and leaving something that's stable and that you know it's going to be scary in school or graduating college the hardest thing about it is the uncertainty of knowing that you really don't know what's next i'm gonna tell you guys honestly how like how things are i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it for you if you have not done internships because people talk about internships and they are so important they are very important because they get you those connections and they get you into the door and one of the biggest things that my professor told me is that it's really not about what you know it's really about who you know in this world because we are a society that's based off of like marketing and knowing people I didn't make a lot of, I made good connections in school, but I didn't make crazy connections like some of my other peers did. And because of that, I was feeling really like, really scared and I was like, dude, I haven't networked well enough throughout college. I'm not gonna know what to do. I'm not gonna get a good job. I'm not gonna be fulfilled in my purpose and be successful. I'm literally just sitting here wasting like my life. I just wasted this four years of my time. I'm here to tell you, you do not have to worry about that. If you feel like you did not make connections in whatever the case may be, it's not as scary as you may think it is. It's never too late to get out there and start networking. But the thing is, is that you do have to start because it is going to make the biggest difference. And the thing about putting yourself out there is that it's very scary. Oh my God, this hurts so bad. Oh my God, guys. Oh my I'm a very introverted person and so making connections is super hard for me. It was getting towards the end of my semester and I was seeing all these people that had all these like super cool opportunities and stuff and I was like dude what the heck like and I'm like I have no next steps like I thought I was gonna have this all figured out at the end and I, I, I don't. That was the reality that I was sitting there facing. I was in a very bad headspace because of that and I also graduated during the pandemic so that is my experience graduating I I really didn't know what I was gonna do so I'm a freelance professional photographer and as well as I'm an operational coordinator for Target 
I told myself that I have to sit there and I have to think instead of being so discouraged, like what can I get out of my degree and like if I can't find something what can I do for myself at that moment to like push towards using the skills that I learned while I was in college and applying that into my life in that moment. I applied to so many jobs guys. I was not getting any calls back. I worked on my resume for days. I was like connecting with people on LinkedIn. I was reaching out and I like I was trying to use all my tools and resources that I was like taught to use and like nothing, nothing was grabbing for me. That is how it's gonna feel sometimes, you know? It's gonna be those hard moments. It's gonna be those very hard moments. And I just, I can't, I can't let stuff like that get to me. And so I have to keep a positive mindset and keep very focused. Eventually I found a job and I, I really enjoy it now. It wasn't, I guess what I thought was going to happen, but it is what ended up happening for me. I did have to sit down and trust in that process. That is my personal testimonial. In the grand scheme of things, I say this so much on this channel, but you do not have to have your entire life planned out in this one moment for after you graduate. It took me time. I graduated in May and I started my job in August. I had to work. Get your fucking ass up and work. That's one misconception that I feel like I was under about being in college is that just because I have a degree in this business, people are gonna pick me up and it's gonna be easier. People are looking for people right now who have master's degrees and they're treating that like how old bachelor's degrees used to be. It's like, that's the reality. When you show up in a room and you show up in the interview, you have to make someone think, why have I not hired them already? It takes time and you are gonna get rejected. You are gonna gonna feel like, oh my God, I nailed this job interview. I nailed this job interview. And they're not gonna call you back. I'll never forget, I went to go do this job. I called me after he made it seem like I had a really good chance of getting this job. And I was like, oh my God, it's in the bag. He called and when he called, he was like, hey, Latera, like, um, we're we're gonna go with uh, someone else. We just wanted to let you know. I was devastated. I wanted to give up. I can't keep going through this constant letdown of thinking I'm doing so good and like it's just it's not working out for me. Going through it, it's harder going through it and like than just saying it right now. But I knew in that moment I was like, dude, I just I don't want to do this. You know, like I just I can't sit here. I was in a bad headspace about it and I just wasn't thinking about all the good things that were gonna come out of like the job that was meant for me. It's important to like realize and to understand is like sometimes we're we're not gonna understand the plan that is meant for us but you just have to you have to stay focused and you can't get discouraged that's a big takeaway that I learned from it I'm gonna tell you guys some things that might be able to help you something that I would say helped me tremendously is sitting down and journaling I need to talk to someone and I need to get these like these bad thoughts out of my head if I'm being my worst critic right now, who am I helping? No one. Who am I hurting? Myself. Instead of being negative, I'm gonna take these negatives and I'm gonna turn them into positives. I'm gonna think, what are the things that makes me super qualified? And I'm gonna start there. What are qualities that I know if I walk into a room, I am gonna be so qualified in this, no one else is gonna be as qualified and I can feel that way. It may not be true, but I can feel that way, you know what I mean? There's this TED talk and I'll link it down below. And this woman basically, she says that in life, it's like the fake it till you make it, but she says fake it until you become it. That that is the same mindset that I had walking into my interview for my current job and I landed the job. They called me back two days later and they were like, you had an amazing interview and we wanna offer you the job starting at a very good amount. If you don't, I would start networking and if you don't know where to start networking, there is a platform called LinkedIn. It's never too late to get on LinkedIn and join. You basically get on LinkedIn and 
and they show you get to connect with different people you can connect with like your schools other organizations and while you were on there as well, LinkedIn is a place where you can find different job opportunities. And I also on there, I get to connect with different people from like a bunch of different companies and a bunch of different backgrounds. I can send them messages. They can send me job opportunities. So it is a great tool for networking. Indeed is also another place where you can find different jobs and you can do that based off like your area or your region. It lets you type in different categories and what you're looking for. And you can find jobs all over the country using Indeed. Um, Indeed has a website and it also has an app. Very basic thoughts, but like it's always the really minimal things that no one's thinking about. And like those are actually the things that are like super helpful. Nextly, making a resume is one of the most frustrating things and it making a resume can humble you. I'll never forget. I saw one of my coworkers resumes and it was amazing. And I looked at my resume and I was like, Oh my God, what are things that I can say? And this is your place to brag about yourself. This is your place to sit there and share like all these different job experiences and all these opportunities, all your volunteer work, your GPA, whatever that may be. And you put these things on your resume because that is the first thing. That's the first impression that your future employer is going to be seeing of you have a, a stacked resume, but you don't want to make it look crowded but you want to make it look very qualified and that is the that is the hard part to make sure that your resume is not cluttered it's easy to follow it's very simple but also that it is a little bit creative and it shows something about you i have four or five copies of my resume and they're all very updated to what my latest thing is so people don't think that i've had a job gap so it's always important no matter what role you are going for to most current job on there so people know that you haven't been unemployed and that right now you were just seeking new and better opportunities for yourself. When people ask you why you were looking for this job, you can explain to them that you were seeking new and better opportunities. And sometimes you could totally be not happy. You don't tell them that. You just, you always want to spin it into a, a positive. You always want to come back to it and like talk about a lesson. Not the the Monsavis. That, that key tool is something that you should really invest in. You really need to invest in making sure that your resume is good. One of the biggest mistakes that I've seen people make is that they're like, well, I don't have a resume, so I'm not gonna send anything in. You have a lot less likely chance of getting that job if you don't send in a resume. You have to be okay with understanding that maybe you're gonna turn this resume in and it's not gonna be great that first time. You'll have so many more opportunities. So don't be so hard on yourself. If, if you take away anything from this video, just understand that working on your resume is extremely important. Another important tool that I would say to utilize that people don't like necessarily think about is your peers around you. Having a good support system as well is extremely important during the search because you need people there to tell you like, don't give up, don't give up. My friend, Najiri, who's like a freaking sister to me, she literally was sitting here with me while I was going through this job crisis and she was so supportive. And I don't know if she knew that, but that's, that's literally what I needed. I just needed someone in my corner to sit there and tell me that it's okay. You didn't get the job, but there's going to be more jobs, you know? And there's, I send my resume and things to her and she looks over them and she just helps me out and you need people like that in your corner. You really do. Do you want to hear some ASMR? Those are some of the best tools and advice that I could have. If you have to take a job in the meantime until you find what your career path is, take it. Never pass up an opportunity as well because you think that it's beneath you or you think that I know that people out here are making $15 an hour for this job and they're only starting me off at 11. Until you can find some place, you can negotiate. You can totally negotiate and I'm not saying not to accept something that's below your worth, but you also have to be smart in the fact and know that sometimes people are, if you need that job, even 
even if it's just for the experience, you get more things out of opportunities than like just what's face value. Keep your head, you know, just keep your head very clear and keep your head very humbled when you're thinking about stuff like that. And it's a lot hard, like easier said than done. <laughs> I was just there last year and I, in that time frame, I was so stressed and I was just like crying and stuff like that. The one thing that I had to think about is I cannot be lazy. Just because you have this degree does not mean that you don't have to sit here and still work for something. If you worked hard and you put in that, the effort that you think you put into your education while you're looking for this job, it's gonna find you. College graduation, it's one of the, the realest situations in life. I feel just because you're kind of, they throw you out and you're dangling and it's like we gave you all the tools and everything and now you you gotta take it like don't block your blessings by being afraid and my boyfriend when i was going through this i know that i was stressing him the fuck out because i literally was sitting there stressed the fuck out and he literally told me like you're gonna be okay it's gonna be okay you just graduated you know you're not gonna have a job right off the bat and that's like that is a hard reality that you're probably gonna have to go through it's about to be scary <laughs> it's about to be just really freaking scary so just be kind and most importantly just be kind to yourself during this change in your life and everything's going to work out okay with all of that being said i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys are all living well